One thing to remember about site modifiers is that the order that you add them to your file is important. And so the first thing that you want to start with is any known elevations or any elevations that cannot change. And so for our example that we're looking at right now, we know both the elevation of the sidewalk as well as the elevation to that pathway that goes to the entrance. So we're going to start by drawing those first. You could use the pad site modifier that we've already looked at, but there's another way to add a site modifier to the file that is even easier, and that is by using the hardscape tool. So I'm going to come over here and select the hardscape tool, and then let me come over here and look at the preferences and make sure everything is set up correctly. If you need a refresher on all of this, make sure that you go back and you watch the previous videos about 3D hardscapes. The one thing that I will note is that when you are working with site modifiers, um, you're going to want to have a negative thickness when it comes to your hardscape. And we'll look at that a little bit closer later on. So for this concrete, I'm going to go ahead and do negative 3.5 inches. All right, so I'm ready to start drawing. And what I'm going to do is come over here. Remember here my locus points for the sidewalk. So I'm just going to come over here and use the smart points to line that up. It's being very finicky. So what I think I might do instead is just come over here and draw a smaller sidewalk and then use the reshape tool to make that larger. Now, one of the things that you want to know about site modifiers and site models is that you never want your site modifier to go beyond the boundary of your site model. So part of what I'm demonstrating to you right now is adding a, um, a slab modifier to your hardscape. So make sure that your hardscape doesn't go further out than the actual site model itself. Let's just continue to make this sidewalk larger. One thing that I do need to change is that I've got slope on this hardscape and I actually want that to be flat. So I'll just come over here and under 3D and for 3D type, we want to select slab modifier and top. While you're just learning, you're going to want everything set to the top. So just use top and ignore bottom. We'll leave that at top. The thickness we already set at negative three and a half feet. And then for the elevation, we're going to want to change that to 0.1 so that our sidewalk is not actually below the site model. And then for the slope definition, we want to turn that off for right now. So we'll just set that to none. There we go. Took it, took it a minute. All right, so let's pop this up in 3D and take a look at our sidewalk. So right now you're seeing lines kind of going across the sidewalk and what that's called is moraying. And so moraying happens, a moray happens anytime you have two objects that are sitting at the same elevation and the software doesn't know which one we should actually be looking at. So we get kind of this scratched line work effect. But that just means that I need to update my site model because using that slab modifier as part of the hardscape is going to change where that site model sits. And so I'll no longer have this meringue conflict. So I'm just going to come over here and select the site model. And then in the object info palette, I'll come over and I will click update. And you can see that by updating that, it got rid of the meringue. So I haven't really made much change to my site model. The elevation still if not exactly pretty close to what it was before, but I now have a sidewalk that I can view and my elevation is correct. So now that my hardscape is in the drawing, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to add a pathway that goes up to the front of the house. Now I know that we're going to add stairs to this later on, so I'm going to just tell you 
and I'm looking for where the elevation changes right here. So these green lines, that's the existing topography of the site. So I basically want to go to that green line, and then I'm going to hit the tab key, and for this delta x field right here, I know that I want my pathway to be six feet wide, so I'm just going to enter that in, and then enter one more time to place the rectangle in the file. And then what I need to do is, I know that I'm going to have stairs that come up from the sidewalk to this pathway right here. So my tread is 15 inches, and I know that I'm going to want to take away 15 inches of walkway right here in my path in order to get my site modifiers to work. So I'm going to come over here, and for this rectangle, I'm going to come to the height field, and then I'm going to subtract 15 inches right there. And the next step is to come up to the landmark menu, create objects from shape. This time for object type, I'm going to do a hardscape. And then I'm going to both delete the original source shape as well as show the properties dialog box. And then we're going to walk through these steps again. So yes, it's a boundary. Yes, the um, main area class is material concrete. For the draw 3D, I want a slab modifier top. Thickness will keep that the same. So it all looks good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then once again, I need to come down here and get rid of the slope definition. So I'll change that to none. And for the elevation, because I know that this area up here, once I get to the top of those stairs, this area up here is three feet. So I need to change that elevation to three feet. And then let's come over here and look at it in 3D. So once again, I'm seeing the moraine. That just means that I need to update the site model. I also have the candy cane striping. So come over, select the site model, and click on Update. And so now I have a pathway that goes to the front of my house as well as a sidewalk. And I have added my slab modifiers through the hardscape.